Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Super and welcome to the Dive Brief. I've got an interesting one for you today and this one will hopefully help to sort of quell the debate over whether it's worth going for investing in an expensive dive torch or just going down the less expensive dive torch range. Um, so I've got two torches with me today. Um, they both claim to be 1000 lumen torches. Um, very much similar specs, only one is £70, the other one is £250. So which one's better? Which one is worth investing in? Should you just go for the cheap one because, well, hey, the specs are all the same, or should you invest a little bit more? I say a little bit more, but a fair amount more, on the more expensive option. Uh, I don't know, we're just starting out, I just got them out of the boxes. Um, so yeah, first of all, let's see what you actually get inside of the boxes. So first of all, what do you actually get for your money? So I've got exactly what would turn up to your front door if you ordered one of these. Um, so starting off with the uh, the Dive Pro, the S10. Uh, so cardboard packaging. Uh, it's got information on the back, uh, the, the vital statistics on the side, uh, a little clear window so you can see the, uh, the torch itself inside. Uh, and that's about it. Inside of the box. <clears throat> the pretty standard plastic uh, sort of tray on the inside there's a bit of bit of words and instruction manual dive lights uh, just more information about the entire range uh, so it's one user manual for the entire range how to uh, sort of charge up the batteries uh, for all the different torches and the uh, the burn time how to use the torch and so, yeah <clears throat> We get a charging cradle, uh, so it's spring loaded, uh, and then you plug that with a micro SD cable. That's how you're going to uh, recharge your battery. You get a lanyard, pretty standard wrist lanyard with that uh, sort of rubbery uh, section that goes around your wrist. USB cable that connects to that charging cradle. Silica gel, don't eat. Uh, a pair of spare o-rings in its own ziplock bag and then the torch itself uh, and that's it as it rolls out my table <clears throat> so that's what you get with the s11 this is the uh, the lunar mini so immediately out of the gate nicer presentation in the uh, in the box cardboard sleeve um, with some sort of funky detailing on it uh, but more importantly it comes in its own little sort of EVA it's EVA um, this kind of semi rigid case zippered it's got embossed logo on it which is pretty cool uh, a warning uh, this product can expose you to chemicals including mm, yeah <clears throat> opening it up on the inside quick start guides um, for the entire lunar range um, how to use it the statistics on all the different so that's pretty similar as far as paperwork goes uh, you get the torch itself and then underneath this section here which you can remove you get wrist lanyard similar you, you tend to get a pretty standard wrist lanyard with all torches nowadays <clears throat> and a recharging usb cable um, that plugs into the back so as far as what you get sure the uh, the dive pro does sort of come with a little extra it comes with those um uh, sort of spare o-rings it comes with a charging cradle but you don't need that with the um with the lunar mini and what the lunar mini comes with that the S11 doesn't <clears throat> is this cool little case that you can use that to keep your torch safe uh, or whatever you want. I could probably fit my dive computer in there quite nicely. Um, so at this point, the uh, the Luna is winning. Right, so onto the all important bit, the torch beam itself. So these are both 1000 lumen torches, or at least that's what they say on the box. Um, so switching it on to full beam, switching this one on to full beam. Okay, as far as actual brightness goes, pretty similar. Um, I'd say the uh, the Dive Pro, whilst it has a larger uh, sort of hotspot, 
it probably looks a little bit brighter, but actually as far as pure brightness goes, they probably are level pegging. So there's, there's no big uh, sort of difference there. As far as beam angles go, that's where you're seeing the main difference. So the one on the right, the Die Pro, the S10 has a slightly larger hotspot, uh, so a slightly wider angle. So whilst it's illuminating a bit more, it's kind of diffusing that light out a bit wider, whereas the, uh, the Apex, it's a bit more even. It's quite a smooth beam as well, but a little bit tighter at the same time. They both have hot spots. Uh, they're both uh, sort of spotlight torches, but the uh, the Apex is is a little bit warmer light compared to the sort of more clinical white light of the uh, of the S10. But it's um, it's not quite as much of a hot spot. It kind of diffuses out a bit more evenly. Now, just quickly, we're going to go into the weights of the torches. So the uh, the Luna Mini. Uh, so this has a, a weight of around 137, 138 grams. Uh, now, obviously, there's not going to be a great deal of difference, but you never know. This might be important to someone. Uh, with the battery in, the uh, the S10 weighs about 160, 160 grams. It's a little bit heavier, um, but again, neither of these are particularly heavy torches. They're both air grade, uh, aircraft grade aluminium. Uh, the batteries are relatively small. The lithium ion ones, they're a lot lighter than the old lead batteries. Um, but you never know, that um, might be an important statistic for someone. Uh, if you're going for the minimum weights, then yeah, the, the Luna Mini is still winning. Onto the actual construction of the torch. So they're both aircraft grade aluminium. Uh, you saw a little bit earlier, they're, they're about the same weight. Uh, the main improvement on the Apex versus the Dive Pro is that this one is factory sealed. So whilst the Dive Pro to change and charge the battery, you have to unscrew it. So it's two separate sections, has a double O-ring seal, but still that's a two-part system with the apex you actually charge it up through the body of the torch so you never have to worry about checking these o-rings greasing them um or oh, it kind of squeaks a bit when you do it back up again um so you never have to worry about it whereas with the dive pro you do have to think about it every time you recharge that battery oh did i grease that o-ring was there any kind of dust or sand or grit or anything underneath it whereas the apex you, you just charge it through the back of the body they both have pretty similar uh, battery level indicators around the dive pro you have that little light um the sort of a traffic light system pretty similar on the, uh, the back of the apex so they're kind of level pegging um as far as construction goes they both have very nice construction. Uh, they're both anodized aluminium, uh, decent grip and uh, a decent size. Right, so I've charged up both of the torches or the torch and then the battery in this case, and I've charged them sort of well over so they are both completely full. Let's see their maximum burn time. So I'm gonna turn on the, uh, the Apex, make sure it's set to the brightest setting and put that in some water. Turn on the S10, make sure it's on the brightest setting, put that in, and then we're gonna come back in about an hour and a half because that's what they both claim is their maximum burn time at full power and see if they're still running. So as far as burn time goes, they both claim to have a, a maximum burn time at their maximum power setting, their highest setting of one and a half hours. And they both did that. Leading up to one and a half hours, the Dive Pro started to protest. You saw the red traffic light saying it was running a little bit low. It got to the one hour 30 perfectly, they both did. But then about four or five minutes afterwards, that's when it cut out. So maximum burn time of about one hour 35, somewhere around there, but it's a brand new battery, all that kind of stuff in warmish waters. So one hour 30. The Apex, however, just kept on going. It actually got to the point where I actually got bored and I stopped because what it actually did is it went beyond the one hour 30 and then about an extra 20 something minutes or so, it naturally started to dim itself to maintain. So it's still shining, but to extend its battery life about 45 minutes after the one and a half hours, it was still going. So I just ended up, I just ended the test there. So the apex goes above and beyond the actual quoted burn time. So is paying the extra money actually worth it? Well, let's see what you get when you pay that extra money. So the first thing is you get 
a few extras. You get the nicer box, which is kind of cool. Um, you get the extra burn time, which is a great function. The torch beam is a little bit warmer, but if you're not really into your photography, that doesn't really matter too much. Um, you get a slightly different charging mechanism, uh, which I personally prefer. The biggest selling point for me is that it's factory sealed, so you never have to worry about it flooding whenever you need to change the battery. The battery is literally built in. The cheaper S10, on the other hand, still held its ground. Granted, you don't get the fancy box that it comes in and all that kind of stuff, but it still produced pretty much the same amount of light, ever so slightly different temperature and slightly different beam angle, but still it was just as bright. And granted, it didn't have the same burn time, but it did have the burn time that was stated on the box. One and a half hours is pretty good for a torch this size. Granted, you have to open it up and recharge that battery, but that has a benefit in itself in that you could get standard replaceable batteries. Whilst one is charging up, you're using the other, but that one thing of you do have to break that seal every time that you have to recharge that battery. So is it worth going for the expensive option or the inexpensive option? Um, that's kind of a personal thing. Um, personally, I would prefer to go down the more expensive route and sort of invest in the, the better technology with that factory ceiling. Um, but I imagine a lot of the comments down below are gonna say, well, even if I buy two, even three of the S10s, we still haven't reached the 250 price point of the Luna Mini, so I might as well just go down that route. And that's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with the S10. It's not a bad torch. It's actually an amazing torch for what you're paying. It's just, I kind of like that solid build and the that sort of knowledge of okay as much as they say it'll run for a hundred uh, one hour 30 minutes it'll keep going as well so it's a, it's a personal preference thing is it worth the extra 250 pounds um versus 70 pounds personally for me yes uh, i do like the luna mini i like the way it's constructed i like everything about it the s10 yeah, because you have to uh, sort of break it in half every time, you are sort of risking that. And I'd rather a torch that I can rely on and I know it, the seal is never going to fail, um, whereas something that it might fail. It's just one of those things. Personally, I go down for the, uh, the Luna Mini, but I imagine a lot of divers would prefer the S10 and there's nothing wrong with that. But what do you think? Let us know down in the comments below. If you wanna learn more about these torches, there's gonna to be far more information on our website, simplyscuba.com. It's gonna be links to both of these down in the description below so that you can read up about them, make your own personal choice. They both come in different colors as well. I probably should have mentioned that as well. Um, but anyway, let us know down in the comments below your thoughts. Thank you for watching everybody. And of course, safe diving. Mm -hmm.